Me and Mars. Now, it's time for the local news from the WGSO Newsroom. The levy investigation was a sham, a cover-up, masquerading as an investigation. Nearly three years after Hurricane Katrina, the grassroots organization Levies.org is continuing to press for an independent investigation and in what caused the levies to fail, flooding nearly 80% of New Orleans. The group Sandy Rosenthal says they've been told to just give it up and move on. We will decide when we will get over this and move on. And we will certainly not just get over this while we are still not safe. Rosenthal says levies.org released two public service announcements Thursday with the goal of fostering more support for an independent levy investigation rather than relying on a performance review managed by the Corps of Engineers. The Internal uh, Interagency Performance Evaluation Task Force, or the IPAT as it is known, was managed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. That's a conflict of interest. If you investigate your own work, what do you think you're going to find? Those so-called 829 investigations sought by the group is being supported now by Louisiana's senior U.S. Senator, Democrat Mary Landrieu, who has already introduced legislation that would create an independent panel to probe the levy failures. Louisiana's Republican Governor Bobby Jindal did not discuss the number two spot on the national GOP ticket when he was a guest at John McCain's summer home last weekend, or so he says. Had some great conversations about our country, but never talked about the vice presidency. Look, I've got the job that I want. I love being governor, and we've got a lot more work to do down here. Governor Jindal says the GOP has a lot of problems anyway. The reason the Republican Party is in such trouble is that the party has gotten away from spending discipline. It has started to make excuses for corruption when it would never have done that if the people being accused were on the other side. Jindal says there are clear differences between Barack Obama and Senator John McCain. I think Senator Obama represents the very liberal side of his party. I think he talks very, very eloquently about reform. Senator McCain has for years fought for reforms like earmark reforms before it was popular. Your WGSO weather forecast is coming up next. You're listening to 990 AM News. From the WGSO Weather Center, here's your weather forecast with meteorologist Mike Jensen of ABC 26. Don't forget that sunscreen if you're going to be outside today. Mostly sunny skies on our Friday afternoon and highs topping out in the upper 80s to near 90. We're going to stay warm and muggy for tonight with very few clouds around. We should have no problem seeing the stars. The temperatures are only going to fall off into the upper 60s on the North Shore. Low 70s on the South Shore. I'm ABC 26 weather and meteorologist Mike Jansen on WGSO 990 AM and WGSO.com. Okay, we have about 85 degrees in Metro New Orleans this afternoon in the North Shore. Also, to update you on that story about the 22 crashed cars closing the Harvey Tunnel today, happened about an hour ago. Police saying that it started when a dump truck lost its load inside the tunnel. WDSU-TV reports from the scene that uh, they don't know if anyone was injured or not yet. That's 22 cars closing the Harvey Tunnel today. It's been going on for about an hour, and it's going to be tied up probably for the rest of the afternoon on into the evening tonight. Avoid that area if you can. I'm Terry Easley, WGSO, 990 AM News. In New Orleans and the North Shore, the spin stops right here. This is Bill O'Reilly now on the air at WGSO, 990 AM, Southeast Louisiana. Now officially a no-spin zone. Former Marine Captain Dan Dipplong says American patriotism and South Louisiana cooking combined forces at Southside Cafe Pontchartrain Drive Slide L. Southsidecafe.net. The purple armadillo is on Erlanger Street in Old Town Slide L. The what? The purple armadillo. For home accents and decor, for gifts, for jewelry. Visit the purple armadillo. Here's where the WGSO cast falls to be this week. Friday, May 30th, from 3 to 6 p.m., Bernie Cyrus takes his weekend at Bernie's live on the road to the old ice house on Park Street in Slidell. Saturday, May 31st, from 11 to 1 p.m., Terry Easley will be at Furniture Liquidators, 3755 Park Strain Drive in Slidell. Your chance to win $9,990 for WGSO, 990 a.m., and WGSO.com. Show on WGSO 990 AM and at WGSO.com. Joining us 
Join in the conversation. It's a free call on the North Shore at 661-2929 and on the South Shore, 556-9696. Now, here's your host, the looming legend, the nearly famous WGSO's own, Ed Clancy. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. And our bumpers today, of course, are wedding because we had our special guest, Bonnie Broll, from the House of Broll. So that's why our our bumpers are wedding related today. And uh, we are at Muriel's, of course, live in the French Quarter. Our, our chef, Gus Martin, is going to be here in just a little bit. But we wanted to continue with uh, our good friend Ken Ferdinand of the French Market, who has been taking me back down the uh, memory lane in radio. And, uh, I don't know how I want to go back that far, Ken. Uh, 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 he remembers me and the gang from way back. And uh, hey, Mr. Gus, how are you doing? Um, have, a, have a seat in front of this other microphone, and we'll be right there. Thank you, Bonnie. And um, uh, of course, there. Uh, one thing we wanted to talk about with uh, Ken Ferdinand, in addition to the great history he just gave us, it was really great, of the French market. It's the 22nd annual French market Creole Tomato Festival, and uh, that's going to be June 13th through the 15th. Is that right, yes, sir? And what's going to be happening, sir? Well, as usual, we honor Louisiana produce. Uh, the tomato is the icon we've chosen, the symbol, but it really means melaton, eggplant, uh, you know, tomatoes, squash. Anything that we grow in Louisiana is part of uh, the celebration that we do that we call the Great French Market Creole Tomato Festival. Okay, now, uh, are there were different ways to get tomatoes at this festival? Oh, yeah, we can give them away uh, with a uh, purchase of $25 or more at some of the uh, merchants. In is that right? Market. Yeah. Did you get one tomato? No, you get a five-pound box. Oh, okay, great. Enough for about four or five sandwiches. I like that. A little salad. Uh-huh. And anything else Creole. Uh, that's incredible. The $25 what now? $25 purchase. French Market has about uh, almost 300 different tenants in it. Uh-huh. Uh, different businesses there. So if you go to, uh, to the businesses and you get a total receipt of anything over $25, you're going to get a free five-pound box of Creole tomatoes. All right. All right. And uh, where, where do the Creole tomato, tomatoes come from these days? Well, the whole point is that, the, A, there is, a, there is a seed variety, I believe, of Creole tomato, but most of them are grown either Plaquemines, St. Saint Bernard, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes St. Charles, uh, but it's within a drive, of, an hour's drive of, uh, of New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, uh, they come in every morning? They come the in every morning, and mostly uh, we usually have them by and ripen. Mm -hmm. uh, meaning they don't have to go into a, a you know, a gas chamber to, to get colored up. Um, they kind of ripen on their own, uh, or we allow them to ripen on their own, and that's the good thing about having local produce. Uh, you can get them at a stage where they're the ripest naturally, mm -hmm. rather than having to be gassed uh, before you... Excuse me? <laughs> having to be what, sir? Gassed. What does that mean? Um, ethylene gas is usually the gas that's used as a ripening agent for uh, a lot of produce that's picked green. That I see in the supermarket? Yes, that is right. in many cases. Yeah, but not the French market. Not necessarily no. the French market, but more than that, no, no, no product that's grown within an hour's drive of the city there you go. Is usually ha has to be gas. Oh, okay. So local I gotcha. produce okay. is usually ripened locally. I got you. I, I've been gassed before, but I didn't know it. But that meant there. Um, human condition. Yes, <laughs> it is. Um, okay, so now what other things are going to be going on in the festival? Well, the festival, of course, has produce, right. but it also has music, and it has food. So we'll have all of that in addition to the produce. Uh, we're going to have a good time. We have Cochina. Latina, mm -hmm. which is uh, a, a stage that we're going to have, a stage area near Domain Street. Um, and that focuses on, of course, uh, Latin music. Uh, Freddie Omar and Consul Banda will be there. Mm -hmm. In the farmer's market area, one of our headlines is going to be John Cleary and the Monster Gentleman. Ah. And, of course, there's the ever-present, always-open flea market that will be uh, offering all the goods and services you can imagine. Mm -hmm. 
So it's going to be a good time. That's, that's essentially what we have. And we have some other partners now in that celebration. That's the Louisiana Seafood uh, promotion mm -hmm. uh, and the Zydeco Festival. The Zydeco Festival is uh, put on by the Jazz and Heritage uh, Foundation. Mm -hmm. And the Seafood, Louisiana Seafood Promotions Board, Marketing and Promotions Board, mm -hmm. puts on the, the Seafood Festival. So this one great day in New Orleans, Friday, June 13th, mm -hmm. uh, is going to be a couple of great things happening. One is, and I don't need to speak for that, but the opening of the Insectarium. Mm -hmm. But on that same day, that same Friday, we start our uh, it's a great French market Creole tomato festival, Louisiana Seafood Festival, and the Zydeco Festival. Wow. All on one day. All on one day. One great day in New Orleans. And the festivities run through uh, 13th, 14th, and 15th. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. You can come over there and not pig out, but peck out. <laughs> now, if you want more information, uh, just go to frenchmarket.org? Yes. That, that'll work? Yes. Okay. Or and you can come out to the French Market and see what you uh, see, and people will tell you about it. Yeah, come on down. And in addition to that, um, the uh, um, if, if you want to uh, make a phone call mm -hmm. to the French Market, what should they call? 522-2621. That's 522-2621. Will you answer the phone? No, I probably don't. Know. You want a real person? I look at that. Phone. Well, listen. I thank you for stopping by today, Absolutely. and uh, I hope. I, mean, I know you did have some food here. Uh, yeah, in wonderful, wonderful. God, it's it's incredible what they have here. Crawfish, uh, crepes, and uh, I thought they were extraordinary. And we're going to get the explanation on that when we come back with Mr. Gus. I await the explanation. Chef Gus is uh, going to be with us, and uh, later on we may even. Uh, Trap Jude Young into coming in and talking about what's going on in the in the uh, in the baseball tournaments. That's all going to happen here at Muriel's live on the Ed Clancy Show from WGSO 990 Forever and Ever AM. This June, Muriel's Jackson Square offers a crustacean celebration. Chef Gus Martin's four-course salute to the Louisiana blue crab, like jumbo lump crab meat ravioli with chanterelle mushroom and goat cheese, or roasted Creole tomato this with Louisiana blue crab and avocado, or pan-roasted soft-shelled crab. Muriel's crustacean celebration proceeds benefit the Crescent City Farmer's Market. Lunch and dinner daily. Jazz brunch on Sunday, Muriel's Jackson Square, 568-1885, 568-1885. Grand Isle Restaurant, featuring fresh seafood and down-home southern Louisiana cooking that takes you back to the days of the old resort town of Grand Isle. Fresh fish every day, hot boiled crawfish and shrimp, a raw oyster bar, and the coldest beer in town. Happy hour weekdays, 4 till 7. Enjoy Grand Isle's outdoor patio along Fulton Street. $3 validated parking in Harris Self Parking Garage, located at 575 Convention Center Boulevard at Lafayette and Fulton Streets. Grand Isle Restaurant. Doug Bradford, CW5, retired, U.S. Army. I've served in the military for over 34 years, and there's nothing more important than being a team. The GM Military Discount at Hood North Lake Chevrolet is a great way to show the military they are heard, they are understood, and they are acknowledged. In my book, when it comes to buying a new Chevrolet, there's only one team around. That's Team Hood Chevy on the North Shore. GM Military Discount, right for me at GM Chevy. And right now at Team Hood Chevy, the GM Military Discount gives active duty members and reserves of the U.S. Armed Forces. Special military pricing on almost every GM vehicle in stock. That's right. Special military pricing on almost every GM vehicle in stock. Check out TeamHoodChevy.com for more info or call 892-HOOD. Blue Chevrolet Corvette, 206 and Hydro. Boat stuff is all your boat stuff. And boats too. Choose from stuff like Twin V Catamarans, Contender Offshore Boats, Hydra Sports, and Century. Boat stuff also sells Cobia, Pathfinder, Maverick, Peely Boats, and more. All boat stuff boats are powered by Yamaha. Choose Yamaha for reliability, and right now, they're in a spotlight on savings promotion with $100 to $1,500 off select models. Boat stuff on Old Spanish Trail Slide L and Peters Road in Harvey for all your boat stuff and boats too. 
It's golf season. Visit professional custom clubs and repairs on veterans and metairie. Professional custom clubs and repairs. Call 454-6311. Need a pawn shop or want to buy or sell tools, jewelry, or musical instruments? Visit Jerry's Buy and Sell Pawn Shop on Old Spanish Trail at Pontchartrain Drive, Slidell. Catch Bill O'Reilly in the Radio Factor on WGSO 990 AM Monday through Friday from 11 AM to 1 PM starting June 2nd. He's the voice of the North Shore. With an ear for the South Shore and a heart for greater New Orleans. Join in the conversation with Ed Clancy now by calling 661-2929 North Shore or 556-9696 on the South Shore. The Clancy Show from WGSO 990 AM, and we want to uh, thank uh, uh, Mr. Ken Ferdinand for being with us, French Market Corporation, of course, Bonnie Broll. It's a heck of a day, and they keep the stars just keep on coming. John's going to hang uh, Jude rather Jude Young's going to hang in here, I hope, and, and talk with us uh, later on in the show. I don't know why, but I'm the world's biggest Andy Williams sucker, okay? I love Andy Williams, and this is the Hawaiian wedding song, and it's all because of Bonnie Broll for playing that today as our bumper, along with the other one by Paul Stukey. Isn't that a great song? A Hawaiian wedding song. And you know, when people go to Hawaii, and I know Bonnie knows this, have you, Bonnie, you've never uh, planned a wedding in Hawaii, or have you? No, never did. But when people go to Hawaii to get married, I have a couple of friends who did. Uh, that's the, the main thing they do there. They video your thing for you, and it's always they have a band playing the Hawaiian wedding song right there. And, uh, of course, uh, it started in Hawaii. And then uh, Andy Williams stole it and uh, sold a million records. Joining us at the microphone, ladies and gentlemen, the maestro himself, Chef Gus Martin of Muriel's. Have a round of applause. Chef Gus, this is Crustacean Celebration Month, right? Yes, it is. Or it will be. Yeah. All of June. June. We're, we're going to run it for uh, uh, a four-course meal for a month. Uh-huh. And as a matter of fact, we're starting a couple of days early. We're starting tonight on it. So, uh, uh, okay. It's going to be it's a actually started now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. During our show here. <laughs> but, okay, tell people what's it. It's like a package? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a four-course package. Uh, we start off with a uh, Creole tomato bisque, because those Creole tomatoes are coming in season right now. There you go. And then uh, what we did with that is uh, we're going to top that off with some jumbo lump crab meat, some avocado with a little bit of lime. Mm -hmm. uh, then we're going into an open face uh, crab and a wild mushroom ravioli mm -hmm. that we're doing a lemon thyme butter with. And uh, we're going into pretty much a little uh, a pan sauteed soft shell crab that we're doing with a peppery crab stuffing, crab stuffing, and we're going to do a crab butter with that, which we make a crab butter with the, all the gumbo crabs and cook them down, and mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be the sauce for that, and then we're going to finish up with a little bit of uh, watermelon souffle, I mean, uh, sorbet. Sorbet, there you go. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Can't do that. Yeah. Um, it would melt. Yeah. I think we did that. <laughs> but uh, you mentioned goat cheese in there somewhere? Uh, no, but we have our goat cheese crepes, and they, and they, and they work just as good if you went down uh, as, as, a, as an extra appetizer. You can throw that in there. there. Okay. And this is all for a one set price? Uh, yes, it's one set price. Uh, are there questions. wine things in the middle? Or no? uh, I'm not sure. But I'm, I don't believe we're doing a wine pairing with it, but okay. uh, it's, just a, it's just to celebrate uh, you know, the, the crab month, and uh, mm -hmm. pretty much June, we're running it for the month of June. And oh, you say crab month. Mm -hmm. Define that for me. Well, I just, think, I just think right now, they're, 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 since the water temperature with saw shells and everything, where they're, where they're shedding and their shells, I think it's just uh, the water the climate of the water is starting to produce more saw shells, and that's uh, one of the reasons we go with them in June. Plus, uh, it's just the end of uh, the, the, the school year, and mm -hmm. pretty much... Uh, you know, people are getting a little break now and, you know, get, get to go out of wine and dine a little bit and enjoy uh, starting off the summer, you know? Okay, now I do have a question. It's kind of a technical thing, I don't know, but I know you have to worry about the supply of crabs, right? Yes. And uh, so is there a problem because of the Bonnie Carey spillway open or no? Well, well I tell you, I was, I was a little worried a couple uh, of weeks ago uh -huh. we were, we were asking around and, uh, you know, I got about five or six people looking for saw shells and, uh, a couple of weeks ago, it was a little tight. You know, I, was, okay. I was a little concerned, but uh, uh -huh. uh, these guys came through for us, and uh, 
I think it's going to be. Uh, Did we go to a different, a different place? No. Yeah, we, we we deal with about five or six different people that we deal with. Okay. So suppliers and saw shows. Yeah. But they're all Louisiana. Yeah, all Louisiana saw shows. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's great. And uh, I guess the water's settling now. Yeah. They, well, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's settling. I a little bit better. Algae's everywhere. And, well, uh, yeah, I know. But uh, hopefully. Uh, Hopefully we'll uh, be able to get, continue to, to run with the saw shows. Uh, uh, the guys I buy from, they, they, they feel pretty confident. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with their uh, recommendation, and we're going to run with it. And, and, you know, if something happens, then we'll, we'll switch it up a little bit. So. Okay. The uh, crustacean celebration. Oh, uh, my. Uh, can I get the, uh, you get all that stuff you talked about, and is dessert included, right? The, the yeah. sorbet thing, is that Yes. It? Okay, and that's, uh, is that running all of your hours of the day? Uh, we are running it for lunch mm -hmm. uh, and for dinner. Mm -hmm. And pretty much it's going to be, I guess, seven days a week while we have it, because we're open seven days a week. So mm -hmm. we should have it. Uh, yeah, for lunch and all the way through, all the way through June, okay. so June 30th. Okay, and uh, you were talking about um, I know uh, the the um, the demonstrations. Mm -hmm. uh, Ken was asking about the demonstrations, mm -hmm. uh, and I know you said you, you, this year you're not going to be involved in the in the Creole tomato demonstrations this year, right? No, I'm not, not you're this year. You're, you're, you have other things going on, but you've done yeah. it before, right? Uh, I was invited before, but I was pulled out of town. One of my other chefs did it. Uh, uh, yeah. But uh, you know, it's uh, you know, it's, it's it's a great event. You know, I mean, you know, it's a celebration of the the, the, the festival of Creole tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's one of our. What are the different ways you can do a tomato? Uh, you can do it so many different ways. You, you can put it with crab. You can fry them. You can saute them. You can yeah. grill them. Put it with you know, crab. Just eat them with a little salt. That's the best way I like to eat them. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah, you can, you can uh, make them with blue crabs, too, I guess. Huh? Oh, yeah. You can definitely do that. We, uh, I used to do a, a salad, a luncheon salad, fried saw shell crab. Uh-huh. So we cut it in half and sand them up right over a Creole tomato salad with a little bit of mixed baby greens. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's a good way to go. You know, we're talking about the uh, crustacean celebration and uh, lump crab meat and all that stuff. And, uh, and I even did the commercial and talked about blue crab. But what's the definition of a blue crab? Mm -hmm. Well, a blue crab is it, it's a local crab. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's a species of a, a species of a crab. Uh, we have them here. They're, they're out of the, they have some out of the Carolinas, and uh, it's mm -hmm. more of a suck. It's a southern crab, you know. Um, mm -hmm. It's uh, they, they have the male and the female, but I mean, it's uh, a lot of our crabs, you know, pretty much uh, are used up north now. They, they they export a lot of them up to, to oh, no up north. Yeah. For, you know, like sheep crab soup and stuff like that up north. Mm -hmm. But uh, sheep crab soup really came out of the Carolinas, out of Charleston and stuff like that, that those areas. Sheep crab? Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just a crab soup that they do. And they, what, what they, they call it sea, sheep. Did you say sea crab or no, sheep? No, sheep crab. As a female? It's, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's finished. It's finished with the fat from the crab. Oh, and that's how they thicken the soup. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, oh, you know what? I had to uh, in, in um, before you know during when you were serving us uh, the escargot, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about that. Tell yeah. people how, they, how you do. Well, the escargot. I mean, it's just it's, it's a dish I played around with over the years, and uh, you know, basically we put a little bit of uh, sort of sort of you know we always try to stay on the cutting edge and taking stuff to a different level mm -hmm. you know we just put a little roasted fennel in there and some apple smoked bacon uh some leeks a little bit of oyster mushrooms mm -hmm. uh, and then we saute that with the escargot and then we uh we, we make a uh, roasted garlic butter and uh, we just finish it with that with a little bit of our uh Grilled uh, crostini, a little little toast. But the sauce yeah. was kind of uh, wasn't uh, wasn't real thin. It was a nice uh, yeah, it's a nice uh, yeah, it's nice a, thick sauce. It's sort of like a thick butter, so like a thick Leblanc. Yeah, know, yeah. Sauce. What's in there besides your? Oh uh, well, we have white wine. It's pretty simple. It's roasted garlic, white uh, white wine, and it's, uh, it's a hint of uh, rice wine vinegar. Uh huh. Uh, by the way, we're talking to uh, uh, Chef uh, Gus Martin, who uh, has a great uh, career in front of him mm -hmm. and behind him. And, uh, of course, many people know him from the, uh, the Brendan family, Commanders. Um, he's uh, born and raised in the city of New Orleans, and he spent his childhood, it says here, watching his mother and grandmother cook authentic Creole and Cajun food in their kitchens. Yeah. Is that correct? Or is that it is correct. My, my, grandma, my grandmother was from, uh, from 
Thibodeau. Uh huh. And uh, she pretty much got married and moved down to the ninth ward and lived her whole life down there. Oh wow. And uh, pretty much I used to I used to watch her uh, cook. Cook my first scrambled eggs when I was two years old. You did? I still have a little pan that she gave me from cooking them in, too. Oh, wait a minute. You mean you just broke some eggs? Is that how yeah. it Yeah. No, I scrambled them with butter. Oh, okay. You knew what you were doing at uh, two years old. Oh, yeah. You? Well, she, she, she had me on a little milk crate, so it was pretty good. Oh, that's incredible. I love it. Hey, listen, don't go away. If you got time to hang, you got more stuff to do. Ah, uh, I can hang a little bit. Okay, great. And we're going to come back, and I'm going to have Jude Young talk to us, too, on the Clancy Show. We'll come to you live from Muriel's. You've got to go, Ken. Thank you so much for being with us. Ken Ferdinand and, of course, uh, Bonnie Grohl. And uh, we're going to plug uh, the, the festival again, and we're going to plug the, the book. And, uh, of course, Gus Martin's coming back with us. And I'm just about to tell people what I'm about to dig in here. That's Crawfish Grave. WGSO 990 AM. Home Instead Senior Care, the world's largest provider of non-medical services to seniors. Whether it's extra help with meal preparation, light housekeeping, escort to the doctor or mall, these caregivers are willing to serve. Home Instead caregivers go through a detailed screening process, including a thorough reference and background check. Each is bonded and insured. Caregivers and clients are selected for that perfect match to help your loved ones. For trusted and affordable in-home services, request a free consultation at homeinstead.com today. They don't just care for seniors, they care about seniors. Years. Danny's AC and Heating is a third generation AC and Heating business and has been serving St. Tammany for over 30 years. We provide sales, service, installation, and offer 12 months famous cash for residential and commercial jobs. We're a one stop shop providing electrical work in addition to AC and heating. And we still use sheet metal. Mention this ad and you'll get $20 off the service fee and $100 off a new system installation. Danny's AC and Heating, 985-863-0046. Bandina's Restaurant, since 1932, now on the North Shore. Tucked a little out of the way on Highway 22 in the Azalea Plaza. Bandina's Mandeville serves New Orleans' favorites like shrimp from a lot, turtle soup, and trout almondine. Don't miss permanent happy hours. Great atmosphere, great food, and Mandina's has nightly specials. Hungry yet? Head over to Mandina's in Mandeville. Did you ever hear that bed bugs transmit serious diseases like hepatitis and are only found in filthy living conditions? Well, that's just a myth. Here's the fact. Bed bugs don't transmit diseases, but they do bite, leaving behind red and itchy welts, and can be found in the cleanest of places, even hospitals and five-star hotels. And that's no myth. A pest professional is your best defense against the devastation bed bugs, rodents, and termites can cause to your home and family. Visit PestWorld.org to hire your pest pro today. That's PESTWorld.org. Here's where the WGSO cast balls will be this week. Friday, May 30th, from 3 to 6 p.m., Bernie Cyrus takes his weekend at Bernie's live on the road to the old ice house on Park Street in Slidell. Saturday, May 31st, from 11 to 1 p.m., Terry Easley will be at Furniture Liquidators, 3755 Park Strain Drive in Slidell. Your chance to win $9,990 for WGSO, 990 a.m., and WGSO.com. Six a gallon nationwide. Gas station owners are angry because they say they're making little to no profit at the pump right now. Credit card fees are more than what the retailer is even marking up the gas. Jeff Lennard is with the National Association of Convenience Stores. A second man has now died from a crane collapse in New York City today. It's the second crane collapse in Manhattan in a matter of months. Donald Trump is reacting. Manhattan is building, and it is a tough situation. There's no question about it. But definitely New York City has been unlucky over the last year. The 81st Annual Scripps National Spelling Bee is underway in Washington, D.C. McLeod. M C L E. O.D. McLeod. 13-year-old Tia Thomas from California is back for her fifth and final B after finishing eighth last year. And we're just coming in that some of the polygamous children in Texas will start going home, it looks like now, on Monday. Alex Stone, ABC News. Now, it's time for the local news from the WGSO Newsroom. Here's the latest on stories making news this hour in the WGSO Newsroom. The funeral is set for the owner of the popular Betsy's Pancake House after she was beaten to death. The church wants Catholics to pray for no hurricanes. And First Lady Laura Bush visits New Orleans today. Visitation starts this evening for Betsy McDaniel, the slain owner of Betsy's Pancake House on Canal Street. She died after lapsing into a coma. 
She was beaten in her home, not the restaurant, on Monday during a robbery. Burial is tomorrow. Crime Stoppers has now increased the reward to $10,000 for tips leading to the arrest of whomever attacked McDaniel. A skull fracture and brain hemorrhage led to her death. While detectives say it appears her attacker knew and targeted McDaniel, they have not yet identified the killer. As hurricane season approaches, Roman Catholics across Louisiana are being asked to pray for the area's protection this season. There is a special mass today at St. Louis Cathedral. Archbishop Alfred Hughes presides over the mass for protection of the people of New Orleans and the state of Louisiana during hurricane season. Throughout the day, faithful are asked to set aside special time for prayer and to fast even, to ask God's grace and protection from loss of life and property during the upcoming storm season, which begins this Sunday. With hurricane season just two days away, Jefferson Parish holding its hurricane preparedness summit today. The summit will be at the East Bank Regional Library on West Napoleon Avenue in Metairie. Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal, meantime, also working to make sure that folks are ready for hurricane season. This afternoon, he's joining with the New Orleans Saints at their mini camp to urge residents to get a game plan for the storm season. And First Lady Laura Bush is back in New Orleans today. She has two stops on her agenda. The First Lady is participating in the White House Office of Faith-Based and Community Initiatives Gulf Coast Summit. Later, she'll head to the Ogden Museum for Southern Art. There, she is helping recognize those receiving special library grants. Your WGSO weather forecast coming your way next. You're listening to 990 AM News. In the WGSO Weather Center, here's your weather forecast with meteorologist Mike Jansen of ABC 26. Don't forget that sunscreen if you're going to be outside today. Mostly sunny skies on our Friday afternoon and high topping out in the upper 80s to near 90. We're going to stay warm and muggy for tonight with very few clouds around. We should have no problem seeing the stars. The temperatures are only going to fall off into the upper 60s on the North Shore. Low 70s on the South Shore. I'm ABC 26 weather now meteorologist Mike Jansen on WGSO 990 AM and WGSO.com. If you're buying or selling a home, call on the experienced team of Ann and Joyce at Prudential Gardner Realtors, 504-207-1010. Or visit their website, annandjoyce.com, for more information. And if you're thinking of great pizza, salad, calzones, or pasta, call Reginelli's Pizzeria with six convenient locations to serve you. Visit their website, reginelli's.com. Get in touch with your inner conservative. Bill O'Reilly's coming to the North Shore. Weekdays 11 to 1. Bill O'Reilly on WGSO AM 990.com. This is Robert Edwin Edwards, and you're listening to the Ed Clancy Show. I've never listened to him, and I always will. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> And you've got him right here on WGSO 990 AM and on the web at WGSO.com. To speak with Ed, it's a free call. 661-2929 North Shore or 556-9696 on the South Shore. Hey, we're back. Ah, yes, on the Clancy Show. Ah, yes, Paul Stuckey and the wedding song. Most requested uh, song to be sung at weddings. I believe in the, in the either in the world or at least the United States. And uh, I got an announcement to make, ladies and gentlemen, as we come to you live from Muriel's Jackson Square, French Quarter, right next to St. Louis Cathedral. You can't. In fact, we're going to mass right after the show here. And uh, uh, got a got a birthday to announce, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday to Emmanuel Pepys. Today is his. 44th birthday. <laughs> yes. You wouldn't believe it to look at him, but he is. 44 years old today. God bless him. And uh, in addition to that, he is a beautiful dancer. He is a great Greek dancer. And he, uh, no, he's not 44. I was just kidding about that. Just also at the microphone here is Mr. Uh, Gus Martin. Gus, what is that wonderful dessert I just ate? It's gorgeous. Uh, we, uh, pretty much we did the uh, creme brulee with some fresh uh, Mississippi blueberries. And then uh, we have the, uh, on our crab dinner tonight, we have the uh, watermelon the sorbet. Mm -hmm. uh, with the uh, black uh, Florida cell, it's a little bit of salt on top. Some candy watermelon rind. Whoa, oh, 
I got to taste that. That's right here. Uh, Did you have some, Dania? Dania, of course, uh, at the controls today, and very controlling. And uh, all right, this is the watermelon sorbet. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting it right now, ladies and gentlemen. You didn't have a song. Ah, uh, yes. Hold on. Hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Now who made that? That's, that's <laughs> my amazing chef, Kara Henderson. Kara, God bless you. She's standing right over there. She is. A, yeah. she, she does all these. Uh, Designs all these. She, she, she does all the magic up there on the sweet side of the kitchen. Oh wow, this is wonderful. And uh, uh, Waterman, it's all part of the uh, crustacean celebration, yes. mm -hmm. right? The package. Can we talk, uh, say how much it is? Or do we know? Sure, sure. I'm not. I'm, I haven't really looked at. It. I just okay. studied the menu. But uh, okay. that's all right then. It's just, but it's for one price you get. Four yeah, one, yeah. And a dessert. Yeah. Mmm. That's incredible. Thank you so much. I love that's why I love to do these shows, ladies and gentlemen. And so does you, Jude Young. Hi, Jude. How are you? I'm doing well, Ed. How are you? Thanks for being here. My pleasure. I, I uh, uh, did, you had the food. What was your favorite? You had some of the food. Uh, I had the, the chicken fusilli because I'm not a big seafood person, but it was uh -huh. uh, an excellent pasta and seasoning. It was fantastic. Wow, and the creme brulee, awfully good as well. Ah, that's great. The um, oh, and somebody just handed me a billboard here. It's actually a little sign that's uh, up in the building. The Contemporary Creole Dining. Uh, is this what this, yeah, this is the monthly this thing? Is this is it. Okay, what we talk four course Louisiana blue crab dinner menu. Mm -hmm. Did you want to point something out, sir? Yeah, uh, the, the price of the meal is there. Oh, there it is. Thirty-eight bucks a person. Hey, mm -hmm. plus tax. You can't do anything better than that. Mm -hmm. That is not bad at all for an evening's dining. Yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, or even lunch, and it's all through the month of June here at uh, 801 Charters at St. Anne. And uh, all you got to do is take St. Anne so you can't go no more. <laughs> and there's, uh, there's the Jackson Square, and on your left is Muriel's, a beautiful historic building here. And uh, the, uh, so, so you had the Fusilli, is that right, That's uh, correct. Jude? Very, very good. Okay, Jude's going to hang here because in a few minutes we're going to talk to him about what's going on with LSU and UNO and Tulane. And uh, it's like, what, Christmas? <laughs> for the for the state of Louisiana here. That's exactly right. And uh, it's just incredible. Uh, now, Mr. Mr. Martin, mm -hmm. you did you where'd you go to school? Did I ask you that? I don't know if I asked you that before ever. Well, pretty much I went to the school of Brennan's for cooking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean high school, uh, college. High school, stuff. I mean, I was uh, born in the city. Right. I uh, went to Warren Eastern for a short time, and then uh, my parents moved out to uh, Kenner, and where I went uh, to go to Bonneville. Oh, okay. That is uh, Kenner's only high school, and it ain't even nearly in Kenner. <laughs> no. So uh, I, I happen to know that. Yeah. But uh, they, they claim it as their own now. Yeah. Um, but uh, then uh, college-wise, what are we talking about? Uh, right after high school, I went and read in, uh, well, I worked for the Brennans for a couple of years. Right. And then I went into uh, the military and the Army for six years. Ah. So, so that's who you root for every football season. Yeah. Army. I LSU. Against Navy. <laughs> oh, Army. <laughs> Army. Well, what if Army's playing LSU? Yeah. Well, LSU. yeah there's only one team, LSU. I got you. I got you. <laughs> this is so great here. This is incredible. Now, who was your greatest influence? Was it your mom and, and your, your grandmother? Well, I'll tell you, my, in my early years, I guess it was my grandmother. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, mentors that I had as chefs. Uh, I guess the first chef I really worked for was Paul Prudhomme when he was a chef of commanders. But uh -huh. uh, Gerard Maris is one of the biggest influences in my cooking, uh, who, uh, who worked for the Brennans for years and showed me a lot uh, about technique and food and freshness and how to, you know, just blend flavors together and make them work. Uh, you know, Jimmy Smith was an old Creole chef that worked. 44 years with the Brennans, and uh, oh, yeah. he showed me more of the Cajun. Cream is more like a Creole chef. He showed me the, the way the way they do it in the country. So, and then uh, how it how it's evolved into the to the tables and restaurants. So, what was the first place uh, where you were the the, the top dog mm -hmm. in the kitchen? Uh, I guess that, that was at Palace Cafe. Uh huh. I, mean, uh, I was a chef over there, and then moved into. Uh, the corporate chef role with Dickie, uh, Dickie Brennan, uh -huh. and pretty much was uh, overseeing. We opened up the steakhouse together in Bourbon House, and, uh -huh. and uh, pretty much uh, from then on, I've been pretty much a top dog every place I've been. Yeah, you were uh, uh, Ralph's on the Park? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. for a couple yeah. years. Hey, that steakhouse or something, but I'm telling you, I have not had better food than I've had here at Muriel's, mm -hmm. uh, uh, even today, you know, yeah. every... Uh, and and every time we've been here, it's just, yeah. just been incredible. Yeah. You're, you're doing a great job here. Well, I'll tell you, in a couple of weeks, we've been working on a, 
new dinner menu and uh we're, we're, we're shooting for a, a target for the next couple of weeks uh coming out with a whole new dinner menu with we're going to change at least at least eight entrees and uh -huh. you know a couple of appetizers a couple of salads so we're going to sort of revamp and make it uh get ready for summer sort of gear lighten some things up and, but you're not you touching know. the crepes and oh, no, no, we, we, we don't we don't we don't touch it we don't touch it no no we're not touching the puppy john either <laughs> nah, that, 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 that signature dish is there, you know. So, yeah. yeah. But we're we're gonna have we're gonna have fun with the with the things uh, the other things, you know. We're gonna change up a you know a new grilled fish and mm -hmm. you know presentation on that, lighten it up a little bit, and uh, we're gonna come up with a new fillet dish and you know new ribeye. Uh, thinking about uh, d doing a half roasted chicken or or duck, duck on the menu. It's a little warm for duck, but what since you've been here this time around mm -hmm. and, and it's been hot about Two or three months. Uh, uh, it's been seven weeks. Seven, seven weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, since you uh, and traditionally, what is the most requested this year, other than your crepes and goat cheese? Well, I tell you, uh, the puppy drum is probably probably up there. Uh huh. That's, that's one of the, the stable dishes here, and that, uh, it's really popular. Uh, our pork chop at night, the double cut pork chop, with the smothered greens, uh, the, the apple demi glace, uh, well, apple jelly. And the uh, sweet roasted sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's the way to go. It's a meal. I mean, it's great too. I mean, I mean, it's 16 ounces of pork right there. So yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to now, are reservations necessary here at Muriel's? Uh, you know, you, you can make reservations. You know, personally, a lot of people just come in uh -huh. because we're right here in the square, so right. they just walk in. I mean, we could have 30, 40 reservations and. 200 people in a night so I mean wow uh, you know it's good to have reservations especially on the weekends you know okay. Friday Saturday Sunday brunch and uh and to do that you can call 504 five uh five six eight one eight eight five is that the number yeah that's exactly. a good one yeah or you can go the best news is to go to uh muriels.com that's all you got to do and uh, listen, I thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for the food. Thank Thanks for the dessert. It's incredible. Oh, yeah. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's crustacean celebration here in June at Muriel's. Uh, Four-course dinner plus dessert, and you've got uh, uh, all sorts of uh, good stuff for one really neat price. Yeah. Gus, yeah. thank you so much. Thank Congratulations you, on right. uh, what you're doing here. I appreciate it. Ed Clancy you. Show. We'll be back with uh, Mr. Jude Young, and also Rick Grace is going to join us, I hope. If uh, we can track him down again on the Clancy Show, WGSO and Muriels, WGSO 990 AM. This June, Muriels Jackson Square offers a crustacean celebration. Chef Gus Martin's four-course salute to the Louisiana blue crab. Like jumbo lump crab meat ravioli with chanterelle mushroom and goat cheese. Or roasted Creole tomato this with Louisiana blue crab and avocado. Or pan-roasted soft-shelled crab. Muriels crustacean celebration. Proceeds benefit the Crescent City Farmer's Market. Lunch and dinner daily. Jazz brunch on Sunday, Muriels Jackson Square. 568-1885, 568-1885. The world calls us small business owners, but really, there's nothing small about us. We have big ideas. We see huge potential. We have larger-than-life expectations, which is why we and millions of other business owners use Visa Business. Because we do business with the great big world, and no other card. No other card. No other card is more accepted by it. Visa Business, used for big ideas. Visit visa.com slash small business. Here's where the WGSO cash balls will be this week. Friday, May 30th, from 3 to 6 p.m., Bernie Cyrus takes his weekend at Bernie's live on the road to the old ice house on Fresh Street in Slidell. Saturday, May 31st, from 11 to 1 p.m., Terry Easley will be at Furniture Liquidators, 3755 Fox Train Drive in Slidell. Your chance to win $9,990 for WGSO, 990 a.m., and WGSO.com. And now a weather update. Winds out of the south-southeast at 9 miles an hour. Citizens of America, this is a message from FeedThePig.org. Do not be alarmed. We are here to help you save yourself. According to public records, Americans spent more money than they earned in 2005. This is the first negative savings rate in the U.S. since the Great Depression. America, we must change your behavior.
We need to stop spending every dime we earn and start feeding the pig. We must start putting away a piece of our paycheck. On the 1st and the 15th, we must pay ourselves before we pay anyone or anything. We must make a budget. And yes, even consider cutting up a credit card. And we must tell a friend to do the same. America, to start moving in the right direction, we must start a movement. Join us at FeedThePig.org. Find the benefits of saving for every stage of life. Log on to FeedThePig.org today. Listen for more traffic updates. Brought to you by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants and the Ad Council. This is Charles Osgood. Who do you depend on to help protect your family's health and property? Well, doctors, of course, firefighters, and police officers. But how about pest professionals? They're your best defense against household pests like bed bugs, mice, and termites. Now, pests like these contribute to asthma, serious illness, and property damage. To learn all about household pest threats and to locate a qualified pest professional near you, to help protect your family, visit pestworld.org. Grand Isle Restaurant on Fulton Street, New Orleans, will take you back to when cold beer, 10-cent oysters, and air conditioning were advertised on the windows. Grand Isle Restaurant for fresh seafood and the coldest beer in town. It's the West St. Tammany Wine Summer Day Camp, May 27th to August 1st, for ages 5 through 12. There will be 10 one-week sessions Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 4.30. Before and after camp care is also available. Swim lessons are available for campers at an additional cost. We'll have two weekly field trips, lives and crafts, music, sports, aquatics, and team building games. What are you waiting for? Register today. Call 985-893-YMCA. YMCA Activity Center, 71256 Francis Road in Covington. Ladies and gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, it's the Ed Clancy Show on WGSO 990 AM and on the web at WGSO.com. Give Ed a call, won't you, at 661-2929 on the North Shore or 556-9696 on the South Shore. Ah, uh, yes, we are back here, and I wanted to... Ah, uh, yes, my favorite. I want to thank Bonnie Brawl of the House of Brawl. She does weddings. You know, she's a minister, too. We never got into that, but she's a minister. I think she can conduct weddings, too. I didn't know that. Are you a, a Jude Young? You're a, you're a minister? You know this? I'm an ordained clergy person. I didn't know that. Did you ever conduct a wedding? I did it online. Uh, it took me 10 minutes to become an ordained clergy person. Oh, through... No, no. I actually married a good friend of mine and, and, uh, to somebody else. and a lovely lady up in uh, oh, okay. Seattle, Washington. Oh, okay. It's an official wedding in the state of Washington. Is it recognized anywhere else? Absolutely. It is? Yeah. What's the name of the... Uh, oh, the, I, don't, I don't even remember the name of the church. Is it the First Church of the Good The Church of Enlightenment or something like that. <laughs> it, it, was, it was an idea that this sort of grew into me conducting a seven and a half minute ceremony in their backyard. Well, I thought it was... Uh, you did. I thought, did. It, I thought it was the. Uh, I lost the ball here, ladies and gentlemen. I thought it was uh, <laughs> the First Church of the Gooey Death and Discount House of Worship, but apparently not. Yeah, no. Uh, I just wanted to also give a plug once again for Bonnie Broll's book. It's called The Inside Story, House of Broll, Inside Story. And you can get it at uh, houseofbroll.com or you can uh, get it. Um, at her uh, phone number, which I uh, have conveniently lost. Oh, no, here it is, right in front of me, 494-2220. That's her uh, number to call, 504-494-2220, or go to the House of Bro if you want to. And go by the mansion. It's just incredible on uh, St. Charles Avenue. She, she no longer makes the dresses or, or sells them, but she is still planning the weddings. And she told me, and I didn't uh, get this on the air, but uh, off, off the air we talked about it, she does do same-sex ceremonies, okay? Uh, California's just uh, upheld it at the Supreme Court out there, and so it may be the wave of the future, well, ladies and gentlemen. June seventeenth, officially uh, something yes, out again. Exactly. Yeah. But the deal is, since Louisiana doesn't have that law, uh, she she does what they call commitment ceremonies. But she is uh, we had a couple of those here. Definitely. At Say that again. We had a couple of commitment ceremonies here at Muriel. Have you really? That's the voice. Actually, of New Year's Eve was our first one a couple of years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the voice of Rick Gracia. <laughs> Uh, who is the owner of Muriel's, and has, as we've talked about before on this show, has done an absolutely marvelous job of uh, renovating it and, uh, and, uh, and just, just incredible, and uh, has now on board one of the great chefs uh, of uh, Louisiana. Yeah, thank you, and I thank you for uh, having us back. Well, it's always a pleasure. And we have a, have a great time here. And uh, 
Uh, so tell me more about these commitments, Irma. <laughs> well, uh, did you do it? Did you re involve uh, Actually, uh, no, but now that I know I have uh, somebody else I can call, in case we need to uh, find somebody. And that's Ju Jung or Bonnie Broll, apparently. There we go. We uh, have to my car. Actually, we had one for New Year's Eve about three years ago uh, as our first one. Normally, we do the soiree upstairs on New Year's Eve, but uh -huh. we had uh, somebody, a regular customer, that wanted to work it. And, um, and it was, uh, it was they're, they're well behaved, you know, uh -huh. about 150 people. Yeah. Not a large wedding, but well, it's us. Guess it's not out of place here in the heart of the French Quarter, huh? No, oh, we're on St. Anne Street, man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's. Uh it's, that's well. That's great to know. That's great to know. So, and, and you would do? Uh, did you do the reception too? I guess. Sure, we did. We did. We had ceremony and reception was all here. So, uh -huh. and, um, I, and they one of the rooms, and then you just run in the other, and you're converted very quickly. And uh, yeah. two large rooms up there, so you know, it all works. Yeah. And uh, I guess if anybody wants to hire a room here for any function, uh, all they got to do is we do. And the important thing is, of course, get, get, get your date early, and uh, because they fill up fast for the for the popular weekend. Ah, uh, yes. But outside of that, um, normally, you know, it depends. And you get a July, you get a date in July right now, but uh, October, November is already tight. Yeah. yeah. So and I know you guys were rocking and rolling for Jazz Fest here, right? Well, it's a time of year is always a good year. Right? Yeah. April, May, and June. Yeah. All the happenings. And uh, we have, um, of course, uh, June, uh, Bonnie was saying that uh, be flexible on your date, especially during hurricane season. <laughs> and uh, there's the thing, whole thing in her book about... Um, uh, they had one scheduled April 20, or excuse me, August 25th, 2005, and uh, a wedding and a big reception, a lot of people, and uh, uh, you get to got to get the book to read what happened, folks. The 25th should be okay. I, I think that was the yeah, Thursday. Right? No, no, the 27th, I think she said. It was, it was, it was something yeah, happening. Saturday, on, huh? Part of it was the 25th, and then it worked out on the 27th, and that's when they started doing... Uh, see, we, 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 did we were actually open that day. We didn't close until Sunday, so... Oh, wow. You actually did a, did okay. a edge wedding here. I, <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. We were the last ones to leave. So. Yeah. So have you done any other weddings, Jude? Just the one. Just the one? I'm batting a thousand, so I figure out. <laughs> yeah. Are they, are they still home. together? Uh, yes, they are. And where did we They're expecting, as a matter of fact, where? next month their first child. Excuse me. Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, this, oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting it mixed up with the same sex. <laughs> <laughs> You're not adopted. I think I said lovely young lady. Oh, you did. Now I remember that. Sure. Yes, I remember that. Yeah. You didn't say that was a special day. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> For the right price, anything is my specialty. Ed knows that as well as anyone. Like Felix Unger. <laughs> <laughs> Photography, portraits, a specialty. Now, uh... <laughs> I wanted to ask you, are you, are you a, a link to any of the universities in, that we're talking here about LSU, Tulane, or UNO? UNO, I'm a, I'm a graduate. I'm on the advisory committee for the mm -hmm. UNO HRT program. Oh, okay. So it's, uh, I'm very linked to UNO. So. <laughs> okay, well, then you'll want to know. Give us an update, Jude, on uh, all the baseball tournaments that are going on. The last update I received, we'll start with Tulane. They're in Tallahassee for the regional hosted by Florida State, and they're playing Florida right now. Last I heard, it was 7-4 to four, Tulane in the 7th. Inning. So uh, good news there for Rick Jones, his team in LSU, as expected, not having any problem with uh, Texas Southern in Baton Rouge right now. I believe the last update I have was seven to nothing in the uh, oh sixth my God. inning. So no surprise there. No, they won't do the mercy rule on that. No, they don't do they that don't. in the NCAA tournament. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the daughter graduated last week from LSU. I should say that. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Get that plug in there. Okay, what else? And tonight, of course, here on WGSO, it's UNO Privateer Baseball. Privateer is taking on Southern Mississippi. Pre-game 545, first pitch 6 o'clock, also from the Baton Rouge Regional, of course. And uh, uh, UNO, the, the, the Privateer Athletic Foundation, the athletic department is having a big tailgate right now across from the LSU Veterinary School. They would love people to come up. They have extra tickets. But if you can't get up there tonight, you can watch it on Cox Sports Television, our partner with WGSO Sports. And, of course... Listen to it right here with Mike Wagenheim and the gang. All right. So uh, are we predicting LSU to go all the way? I think LSU has an excellent opportunity to get to the College World Series. We'd love to. Of course, at WGSO, see UNO win the regional up in Baton Rouge. They have an opportunity. They really do need to win their first game tonight and get to the winner's bracket against LSU tomorrow to have a chance to really make a run, and uh, we hope they do that. But Southern Miss is a very good team that's been to the tournament many years in a row now, so it should be an outstanding game tonight. Now, in college, is it manager or coach of the, the baseball team? They're called coach. Yeah, yes. and uh, is, uh, the, the coach at LSU is? Is Paul Manero. 
All right. And he is uh, surprising a lot of people, I guess, huh? Well, uh, how quickly he's turned things around. Last year was a real struggle in his first year. And mid-season this year is when uh, LSU really took off. 20-game winning streak. Mm -hmm. uh, still active right now, the longest in the country. And LSU is now a, a top national seed, which means they play at home if they keep winning all the way to the College World Series in Omaha. Everybody was surprised how well they did, but it's, it's, it's just a fantastic performance by him taking a, a number one recruiting class and the, and the kids he had from his first year uh -huh. putting together a winner. But Tom Walter and what he's done at UNO has been outstanding over four years, and uh, the privateers have an excellent team. And, of course, UNO doing it as well. And 6 o'clock tonight on WGSL. Yes, sir. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that music means, I do believe, that's the Crescent City Suite. You can't do any better than that. Paul Weston and his orchestra on the Clancy Show. Rick Gracia. You are gracious. Thank you so much for having us. The honor is ours. Muriel's Restaurant in Jackson Square in the French Quarter. Jude Young, thank you so much. My pleasure. Always a pleasure to be on the air with the Dean of New Orleans Radio. Well, thank you so much. Dania J., God bless you, Princess. We appreciate it uh, being at the controls. I thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you around the block on the Clancy Show, WTSO 990, forever and ever AM. GSO 990 AM is giving our listeners a chance to win $9,990 with the WGSO Cash Folks. Be listening every day, and WGSO will be telling you where we'll be broadcasting from. Show up. And